Good afternoon. I appreciate you coming this afternoon for this news conference to release the report of the Walton County Grand Jury that investigated the operation of county government in Walton County and specifically the planning department. I'd like to take a few minutes to explain to you how we got here today and also what occurred uh, over the process, during the process. The way that this matter began was that it was reported to our office in January of 2015 that a $600,000 mistake had been made in the collection of recreation fees by the planning department in Walton County. I began to examine that matter and it uh, was determined by my office that we needed to do a criminal investigation regarding that. As we began that investigation, we gathered uh, lots of information, we interviewed many witnesses, we gathered together many documents, and we were able to determine that it appears that a $600,000 mistake had been made. As a result of that, I was not able to determine that there was sufficient evidence to prosecute anyone for a criminal case. Instead, I determined that it would be appropriate to present the matter to a Walton County Grand Jury for their review. As you may know, under Florida law, the grand jury has the authority to indict in murder cases and other criminal cases, but they also have the authority and the responsibility to investigate the operations of local government to determine whether or not they've been operating properly and whether or not they've been operating efficiently. They also have the authority and power to make recommendations regarding those matters. We continued our investigation at the very beginning, I contacted Sheriff Atkinson and he provided uh, our office with manpower and assistance and they have cooperated with and assisted us from the beginning of this investigation throughout the investigation. As I indicated, we began investigating the matter in January. I assigned three people from my office to work on it full, basically full time since that time. We also have assigned, uh, Sheriff Atkinson had assigned a full-time investigator with us uh, to work with us who worked in my office. In addition, he provided additional manpower where needed. Once we completed our review, which uh, lasted for several months, uh, I decided, as I indicated, that I would present it to the grand jury. I added an additional staff person to the investigation about four months ago, uh, young lawyer Clifton Drake, who work with us in the investigation. We presented the matter to the Walton County Grand Jury over the course of two weeks. The Grand Jury report reflects that they interviewed over 40 witnesses and that they received over 100 documents during their review of the matter. At the end of the uh, presentation, they returned an indictment for two counts of perjury uh, against uh, Pat C. Blackshear, and she has a court date and arraignment date of October 20th uh, regarding those charges. In addition, they returned a report concerning the operation of county government and specifically the planning department. In that report, they criticized two people, Larry Jones uh, and Cindy Meadows. We were required under Florida law to provide them with a copy of the report before it became public and give them an opportunity to object to the report if they chose to do so. They indicated they filed no objection to the report and in fact Larry Jones today indicated that uh, he had no objection to the report uh, being released. As a result, the time that they have to object has expired. We obtained a court order just a few hours ago from Judge Kelvin Wells to uh, allow the uh, grand jury report to become public. What I'd like to do is to take you through the grand jury report briefly and emphasize some of the things that they investigated and, some of the, and, and point out some of the matters that I feel are important and then we'll open the floor for questions to my, either myself or Sheriff Adkinson. First of all, during our investigation, we determined that there was another mistake that was made uh, involving recreation fees of a around $200,000. So the total amount that was failed to be collected was approximately $800,000. The, 
the grand jury in their report makes the finding following. We find the failure to collect almost 800000 in recreation fees to be egregious and unacceptable. For this reason, they make certain recommendations. One of the recommendations they make is that the various levels of review be established, including at the director level, to prevent errors and mistakes like this from happening again. The grand jury discussed the matter of letters of credit, which is uh, a, docu a procedure that's used by developers to allow them to develop subdivisions while uh, they're building the infrastructure. The Walton County Grand Jury recommends that uh, the county commission seriously consider eliminating those. They talked about how the county provides for payment of roads that are over capacity when additional development occurs. The way that they currently do that is by uh, what's called a proportionate fair share rather than an impact fee. And the, the grand jury finds that the proportionate fair share is uh, has numerous problems. It's based on a very complicated formula. It's very subjective. It does not not allow for predictability. And they contract with outside engineering firms at considerable expense. They have recommended that the county consider eliminating proportionate fair share and uh, consider whether or not outside engineering firms should be used or whether or not in-house firms should be used. They've recommended strongly that the county consider going to an impact fee instead of this fee that they've uh, uh, been using in the past several years. The other area, another area that they discussed was the uh, comprehensive plan and the land development code. The comprehensive plan is a document that sets the policy for development in a county. The land development code is the ordinance that establishes the details of how that development is actually to occur. There are several problems that the grand jury found with the way the comprehensive plan and the land development code are used in Walton County. First of all, uh, they determined that they are vague and ambiguous, they are internally inconsistent, and they're inconsistent with each other. They indicate that the employees, as a result, are greatly frustrated, have low morale, and high turnover. And they also indicate that this, uh, these problems with regard to the Land Development Code and the Comprehensive Plan have resulted in many lawsuits and monetary loss for the county. Let me again state that the grand jury finds that the county has done a poor job in developing their development plan and in implementing that plan, and it's creating significant problems for the county. They strongly recommend that the county commission hire someone from outside to come in and review and recommend changes both to the comprehensive plan and to the land development code. One of the most uh, serious matters that was examined again was the procedures that were used uh, by the planning department to, uh, to operate to uh, prevent errors. The grand jury found that in 2004, the county commissioners hired an outside consultant named Dan Beeman to review the planning department. At the conclusion of his study, he made recommendations regarding changes that needed to be made within the planning department. This was in 2004, over 10 years ago. The grand jury finds, and I'm going to quote, we believe very few of his suggestions were put in place. We also believe that had these suggestions been enacted, many of the problems outlined in this report could have been avoided. Uh, and then they talk about, the grand jury talks about the auditing process and determines that uh, the, they recommend that the number of auditors employed by Walton County be reviewed to determine whether or not you, the county has sufficient auditors to catch and correct problems that occur. 
one of the areas that they that the grand jury discussed involved a finding by um, the clerk of court when he audited the uh, the uh, planning department, and he, it was determined that in 2010, a consultant was hired for the planning department and was paid $8,000 a month. The grand jury finds that there were numerous concerns raised about that. That person's contract was not put out for bid, did not contain standard contract clauses, and was not even presented to the Board of County Commissioners for approval. Testimony before the grand jury established that this consultant was operating and acting as the planning director at the same time that Walton County had an official planning director also on payroll and in place. As a result of the manner in as what the grand jury discovered, including this hiring of this consultant, as well as the involvement of the county commissioners in the day-to-day -day operations of the county, which I'll address in a few moments, the grand jury recommended that the state auditor general be requested to perform forensic, which means to see where the money's gone, and operational, which means to see how efficient or inefficient the county planning department has been operating. I'll next address the issue of involvement of county commissioners in the day-to-day -day operations of the county. The grand jury found that under state law, the role of the county commission is to do two things, to set policy and to establish a budget. They found that a particular commissioner was very involved in directing the day-to-day -day operations of county government. Witnesses have testified this is greater than in other locations they have worked. A particular concern to the grand jury was, was the actions of County Administrator Larry Jones and District 5 Commissioner Cindy Mattis. The grand jury heard evidence that indicates that both uh, Cindy Mattis and Larry Jones, quote, became directly involved in the hiring and firing of planning department employees. Evidence indicates that the ordinary chain of command was not followed. Direct supervisors were given little or no input into that decision-making process regarding hiring and firing of planning department employees. The grand jury cites one case in, a, in their report that deals with Commissioner Meadows, who they, the grand jury reports a person was hired with little input from the department supervisor, with no experience in the position, and was put in the planning department at a higher salary than others who were already working in the identical position. They all, the grand jury also quotes a second situation in which a planning department employee was terminated with little or no input from the department director and without following the county's progressive disciplinary procedure. Evidence indicates that Commissioner, and I'm quoting the grand jury, evidence indicates that Commissioner Meadows wanted this employee terminated and that Larry Jones directly ordered the termination. For those reasons, the grand jury found, and I think this is such an important finding again that I want to, uh, to quote it, they found, quote, we believe Grant County Administrator Larry Jones and Commissioner Cindy Meadows should be reprimanded for their failure to follow proper procedures in the hiring, firing, and direction of county employees. We also believe that every person in county government should strictly adhere to the policies of the Human Resources Department, including those dealing with hiring and firing of employees. The grand jury also found, quote, county commissioners should not be involved in the day-to-day -day operations of the county. The grand jury recommended as a result of their review, which as I indicated lasted over a period of two weeks, that the Beeman study be updated and that uh, particular attention be given to the planning department, to their operating procedures, their chain of command, the management, communication, and interaction with other county departments. 
They also made other recommendations regarding the planning department. One was that a more formal training process be implemented. They find, quote, the previous on-the-job training is not sufficient for the difficult task facing the department. They also discussed developer influence and found that they'd received testimony that developers had greater access to planning department offices than were allowed to the general public. They recommended the county, mon county monitor that situation and ensure that proper safeguards are in place to prevent outside influences from affecting planning department decisions. The grand jury concluded with these findings. They believe that, and I'm quoting again, they believe the implementation of the findings and recommendations in this report is critical to the improvement of our county. They find that each commissioner has personally committed to review this report and to implement the changes they have recommended. And the grand jury says, quote, we expect the commissioners to be held accountable for their commitment. Finally, the grand jury want, wanted to compliment, and they did, the many fine employees who work for Walton County. The grand jury finds that oftentimes these employees work under difficult circumstances. They find they've heard from many of these employees and they strongly urge that great care be taken to avoid even the appearance of retaliation against the employees who have testified before us. I join with that admonition to the county commission. The county commission and at the end indicated that they are comprised of citizens from all areas of Walton County, from various occupations and walks of life. They hope that their report informs the public of issues to be addressed and that the commissioners use it as a first step forward in a better future for Walton County. That completes my summary of the report. In closing, let me say that uh, a tremendous amount of resources has been allocated to this investigation by the sheriff's office and by my office. It's clear that the grand jury, in my estimation, is the conscience of the community. And I hope that this grand jury report signals a new day for Walton County and that the county commission will strictly review and implement the changes that need to be made, that need to be made in Walton County and that those changes be immediately made. And I call on them to do that. And I'll be glad to answer any questions as the sheriff will. Yes, sir. Counselor, um, has your office received or been contacted by any other county employee about uh, any wrongdoing or retaliation in any other department besides the planning department? Not and, that. I and do you anticipate any other arrest or investigation? Right. There are two questions there. We have not been contacted, to my knowledge, by other employees. This investigation has been very thorough and comprehensive. And that's a good question. As far as I can determine, it is complete. No other arrests are expected or anticipated at this time. Let me mention to you, though, that we've asked for the, or the grand jury has asked, and I've joined with that request, that the Auditor General of the state of Florida come in and complete a forensic review of the money, of where the money has come in and, and been spent in the planning department. If they do that, I will monitor that investigation. I actually will assist them because my office has the power to issue subpoenas for bank records and that sort of thing. And at the end of their investigation, I will once again review the matter to determine whether or not any criminal activity has been uncovered. Yes. I cannot comment about matters that appeared before the grand jury, and I should have uh, explained that to you at the beginning. But I will, all I can do is reread what uh, one part of the, the, uh, the report, it says that 
Each commissioner has personally committed to review this report and implement the changes we have recommended. The uh, matter regarding Patsy Blackshear is a criminal matter that's pending before the court, so I really cannot discuss theories that I have, which I do have theories regarding that case, but because it is a, pr a criminal matter, I have an obligation under our laws to ensure that uh, she receives a fair and impartial trial, so I can't speculate on her activities at, at this point. Yes, sir. A question for Sheriff Atkinson. Sheriff, uh, we've uh, read in the grand jury report and heard from um, the state's attorney that there has been uh, attempted influence by county commissioners in one department regarding an employee. Has, have you or your department um, felt like you have been unduly or uh, uh, any of the county commissioners attempted to influence you in the performance of your duties? Absolutely not. And that, that I think the, the important thing to point out, and I just want to touch on this a little earlier, is that our job here is a su supporting investigator. You see the, the state's attorney's main mission here, which is to conduct that grand jury. However, it's also to ensure the integrity of both the procedure and the integrity of local government here in Walton County. That is the responsibility of the Office of the Sheriff as well, too. So no, we have in no way, shape, or form has there ever been an attempt to influence that? And it would be met with uh, less than, uh, let's just say that would be an extremely poor decision on the county commissioner's part. Just to verify, Russ, um, was Commissioner Meadows serving in her current term when she uh, unduly influenced the uh, grand jury report makes it clear that he was it this occurred while he was a county administrator and it does not specify the time frame so at this point I think it would be best if I didn't comment on the time frame Let me address those separately. The grand jury report finds that no money was lost to the Walton County as a result of the letters of credit and the manner in which they were handled. Uh, it, it finds that letters of credit, which is really a, a guarantee that, a, commit, that a, a developer puts up with the county to guarantee they'll develop the infrastructure. Uh, 20 to 25 of those were allowed to expire, which uh, obviously is not good practice. However, the grand jury report goes on to indicate that uh, one employee took it upon herself to improve, improve, improve the tracking system, and she ensured that the projects with the expired letters of credit were in fact completed by the developers. So as far as the grand jury can determine, there is no money lost as a result of the manner in which the county handled the uh, recreation fees. The, uh, the other issue involving the proportionate fair share is more complicated. The grand jury made no finding in that regard. However, they did find that uh, there are numerous problems with proportionate fair share based on a very complicated formula that reside, reside, relies on subjective traffic studies which, and does not allow for any predictability as to the amounts of the payments. Uh, and that they contract with outside engineering firms and it costs, a, they, the grand jury described it as considerable cost. Uh, 
and that the data involving proportionate fair share has not been updated since 2010. This results in inaccurate calculations. There's no indication in the grand jury report that whether money has been lost or not lost or whether there's been a, uh, whether or not the county has gathered up a sufficient money to build roads caused by the increased development. But you can see and infer from the, the findings of the grand jury that this is a poor way to decide how to collect money to build new roads for the new people that move in. They make that clear with all the problems that they outline. And, and again, they, the grand jury recommends that, that impact fees be considered as a, and most other counties use impact fees as opposed to this procedure that Walton County uses. Yes, sir. The $800,000 total that had uh, failed to be collected, was that money ever collected or will it be? Well, there's two questions there. Was it ever collected? And the answer is no, it wasn't collected. And will it ever be will be a matter that uh, would be more properly addressed to the Board of County Commissioners of Walton County, Florida. It's important to remember at the end of the day that everybody in the county has got a room full of Walton County taxpayers here, both employees and citizens as well. We all have a vested interest in good government. And at the end of the day, I think that grand jury represented of all aspects of the county, did what they were charged to do. They provided us with good common sense judgment and guidance now it'll be incumbent upon the Board of County Commissioners to follow through and look diligently at these recommendations. But these folks did a good, solid job for the citizens of Walton County, and they're to be commended for that. Yeah, I join with the Sheriff in pointing out that the report's very detailed and, and very thorough. Um, and the grand jury, again, repeated, them, repeated and indicated that they were from all parts of the county. And they are really a cross-section of the county. And Typically, the report of a grand jury is given great weight by the citizens of, of the counties where, uh, where the report is filed, and I'm sure that it will be by the citizens of Walton County. Right, if there are no other questions, okay, thank you very much.